If your white sneakers look like this, you fail. If your polo shirt looks like this, you have failed. And if you look down at your feet and you are rocking bow shoes, you're a huge dork. <laughs> I'm kidding, not kidding. Gentlemen, today I'm gonna go over some things that stylish men never, ever, ever wear in summer. When you wear these items, it automatically kills your God-given sexiness. If you're ready to look better and not wear these things, drop me one of these. Now, if you're like, yo, Alpha, speaking of dropping, why don't you drop the name and the brand of that sexy Yes, polo, it's from Cuts. This gentleman is what I consider polo perfection. The fit is flawless, the fabric super buttery, soft and sexy, the collar not too big and crazy to get all floppy and whack, the sleeve length perfection to make me look like a sex machine. Gentlemen, if you wanna check out this polo or any of the amazing new badass super sexy colors of Cuts shirts and some of the other amazing things like their shorts, have you seen their shorts? Per infection, gentlemen. Game over, congratulations, Cuts. You win. Gentlemen, you're gonna win in terms of a special deal if you hit that special link down below. Number one is dirty white sneakers. If your sneakers are looking a little scuffed, a little rough, a little not super sexy and white, gentlemen, you gotta do something about it. Either it's time to upgrade to a new pair or you can grab something like the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It's amazing for actually keeping your shoes whiter. Also, the soles, it's a game changer. Since we're talking about shoes, guys, we gotta talk about the second thing that stylish guys don't wear in the summer and that is visible socks. All right, this sock that you see is not a no-show sock. This is a no-show sock. Let me explain. Let's right, so check it out. Two different socks on my feet. This is an athletic sock that is very low. If you try to wear it with a shoe, you're still going to be able to see it. All right, this does not look as good as the no-show sock. When you slip that on, it disappears. Even though it's low, you're still going to see the sock. The whole idea of wearing a no-show sock in the summer is that it disappears and is not visible, so it makes it look like you're not actually wearing socks. Number three, little boy polos. All polo shirts were definitely not created equal. Some were created to make you look like a widow boy, right? Now, for me, I'm gonna look like a man, a sexy man that is stylish, confident, and ready for action. But if you're wearing a polo that's like super like fun and zesty and like exciting with a pattern, you look like a widow boy. Let me, let me ask you seriously, what looks better? This or this, gentlemen? The choice is yours, widow boy or sex machine. Gentlemen, I choose sex machine every day. I also choose cuts because their polos are the best I've ever tried. Guys, if you're in the market for a super sexy, clean polo that is fun, that is fresh, that is not gonna make you look like a widow boy, you gotta hit that link and check them out. I did a video talking about polo wearing rules, the do's and don'ts and how to actually dress up a polo this spring and summer. If you missed that video, it's epic. I show you a lot of great outfits. I'm gonna link to that video down below. Right now, their polos, they're back in stock. They sold out after that video, guys. And if you are ready to take your style game to the next level, you gotta check it out. Their polos, I love so much. And the reason is pretty simple. Cuts is all about flawless style and flawless fit, not to mention amazing fabric. Every cut shirt that I've ever tried, from their t-shirts, to their Henleys, to their short sleeve Henleys, to their polos, to their hoodies, fit flawlessly. You gotta hit that link down below. Check out the Cuts Polos. They are the most perfect polos on the market, period. So check it out. Here's another incredible summertime fresh outfit, right? Simple, clean, black polo from Cuts, of course, and then a nice pair of lightweight chinos, all right? Which brings me to another tip I wanna give you, all right? A lot of you guys are wearing denim all summer long, right? Jeans are amazing. I love jeans. I must have for every guy. And if you're gonna wear jeans, guys, a few little denim wearing tips, you wanna go with the lighter wash. The dark wash denim looks amazing in the fall and the winter months, but in the summertime, gentlemen, that's the time to break out your lighter wash denim. But the lightweight cotton pant or chino, guys, I'm telling you, it is next level in terms of style, in terms of comfort. It's also great for the office, right? If you've got an office job or you're working, right? This is a great business casual option. The nice chinos with the sexy ass cuts polo. It's a perfect option to dress down, but still look super sharp. But it's impossible to look sharp if your shorts are coming down and they're too big and baggy. Let me show you how a perfectly sexy outfit goes wrong immediately when you wear the wrong, long, baggy ass shorts, all right? So this outfit, perfectly stylish and sexy for summer. The clean white cuts tee, it's perfect. The white minimal clean sneakers, amazing. The shorts, tan, khaki, okay, but the fit, Horrible, way too long, way too baggy, making my legs look way too short. Instead, check it out. 
Look at the difference. All I did was change into a pair of shorts that actually fit me properly, and all of a sudden, I got taller looking because my proportions aren't as effed up because my shorts aren't too long. These shorts are a perfect seven inches, all right? The fit of the leg, not skin tight, but not big and baggy. Perfect slim fit. These are a perfect pair of shorts. They're called the hybrid short by Cuts. The fabric is super stretchy. They're crazy comfortable. They come in a ton of super sexy, colors. They've even got like a hidden pocket here at the seam. I'm telling you guys, if you are looking for an amazing pair of shorts, hit the link down below and check out the hybrid short by Cuts. Seven inches, in my opinion, is ideal. But if you're somebody that likes a little bit shorter, the five inch inseam, gentlemen, for you guys that are short like I am, I think they work amazing. Now, if you're taller, the five inches sometimes make your legs look super long. But personally, I love a five inch short. I also love these Cuts Mojave shorts because of the subtle details, right? The little notch down at the bottom, the drawstring, they're super crazy comfortable. They're not too baggy. They make you look a lot taller if you're a short dude. Guys, I'm going to link to Cuts down below. Once again, that link, it's special. If you go through it, you're actually going to get a discount that will apply at checkout. They also have recently dropped a new collection of summer colors in their classic shirts. The Henleys, the short sleeve Henleys, the V-necks, the crew neck, t-shirts, the long sleeve tees. Guys, I'm telling you, even sweatshirts. Hit the link down below. Check out the new summer collection but if you see something that you like do not wait because they always do sell out of the popular styles and the popular colors but bottom line if you are looking for a better experience when it comes to men's style in the summer cuts has you covered with that link down below but what about tank tops that's what we're talking about next all right so stylish guys do not wear wife beaters ever they also do not wear like those like self-made like tank tops that like are cut real low that expose your titty fat if you are gonna rock a tank top, and you must, you gotta wear it at the appropriate place. A gym is appropriate. The beach is appropriate. A music festival, appropriate. The pool, a lake, anywhere where there's water, it's appropriate, but pretty much anywhere else, it's not super appropriate. The deal is, guys, you gotta make sure that tank top fits you properly. Nice and snug through the chest, not too skin tight in the body, making you look like a sausage. The next item that stylish guys don't wear in the summer are winter suits. All suits were not created for all seasons, all right? Winter suits are gonna be a little bit heavier. It's gonna be a little bit thicker, all right? And a lot of times you're gonna see or you can feel the fabric and it feels a little bit almost like fuzzier, right? Instead, what I would look for is is a summer weight suit. This is an example of a perfect lightweight summer suit, all right? The fabric is gonna be a lot lighter. This is actually a silk linen blend. The problem, in my opinion, with linen is that it gets like crazy wrinkled. I hate linen fabric, but when you combine it with a nice silk, it actually makes it a lot less wrinkly and just looks a lot better in my opinion. The other thing with summer suits, the colors are going to be a little bit brighter, a little bit more playful and definitely light. Which brings me to the next item that stylish guys don't wear in the summer and that is all dark colors. Now I, you know, am a lover of black, dark grays, dark browns, but seriously, in the spring and summer, it's time to be a little bit more playful, a little bit fresh. Whenever I wear a color that's a little bit outside of my box in terms of playful, fun, light, fresh. I always get a ton of compliments. And that's it, gentlemen. <laughs> my boat shoes. These poor boat shoes. Guys, here's the deal. Boat shoes, I want to talk about real quick. So I don't love boat shoes. I've talked about them negatively in a gazillion videos. And I know that a lot of you guys are like, yo, dude, Sperry's are badass. And I get it. And I, I, I guess there are worse options. Like, Tom's are... I actually... I, I honestly think Tom's look better than boat shoes, if I'm being honest, because they're sleek and kind of sexy and a minimal profile, kind of like those, what are they called, espadrilles? I can never pronounce it right. Um, mandals, that, okay, mandals, they are definitely worse. Actually, are they worse? I think I hate boat shoes the worst, but I love you.